all right what's going on everybody my name is poke dragon welcome back to another video now in this video today well we're actually back at that you remember back in a, like several videos ago we i made a video pretty much about this event right here where a bunch of like german cars are pretty much a german only show well guess what we're back at it and this time some of the you know supercar squad actually showed up check it out so i'll go one by one so we have over here joshua with his ridiculous all pro wraps pretty much audi r8 v10 plus which his wrap is quite interesting which i didn't even realize right now it actually has like little like like little wording inside the wrap that's actually like if you're not looking at it you'll just see the all pro but if you get closer to it you can actually see it it's actually kind of a cool little detail i like that have my buddy tmt with his crazy crazy orange halloween themed spirit audi r8 and this one right here is pretty much the facelift version of that and you can tell it's a facelift version well mainly because of the fun fresia but if you want to know which one is the facelift version the, if, if you see an audi r8 second generation with this right there then it's the facelift whereas on joshua's even and you guys might say well his is covering it with the wrap now that's just how this one is so now the question is which one do you guys like the most oh and we also have a good buddy of mine with his gorgeous r8 right there which i still love that r8 i love that blue if i were to get a second generation r8 it'll be in that blue Have a gorgeous Mercedes AMG GTS right here that you guys remember this was the thumbnail of the last time I came to this event video and then we have this right here which I didn't some people were saying I didn't actually show off the E92 that much especially this one being pretty much the competition spec as well so I'm gonna do my best to show it off a bit more in detail so we have the competition style wheels right here double kidneys and by double kidneys i mean the actual like kidney like little splits are a double instead of singular which a lot of uh e92s they have the singular instead of the double i actually like the uh the decision of utilizing the carbon fiber little uh wheel caps we have the gorgeous carbon fiber roof and dct which also holy moly what in the world look at those tack look at that tack let's see if i can you know not make it blurry for you guys there you guys go my goodness that is really cool that is really cool i like that not bad e92 owners not bad that was, that's actually pretty flipping cool but what do you guys think of this e92 i love it So apparently it's now the RA club here today because now we have pretty much four of these things here, which I'm not complaining. Naturally aspirated V10 beauties right here. Yeah, that's, I, I am not complaining, not even one bit. That is awesome. That's like a photo right there. You have your different Skittles. You have a blueberry, you have your lemon, orange, and then you have your mystery right there. <laughs> now have an E46 M3 convertible with, you guys know it and you guys love it, manual. And it has like all the features you could have done on the E46, whereas mine only has, I think, just one feature, which is turning off the traction control. It doesn't have anything else. Oh, and it also has like the, the, uh, the speakers. But other than that, that's really the only thing it has. It has the... My also has my Z, not my M3, but like my ZHP also has like the little screen, but old infotainment screens, they're not um, LCD, they're, they're, the pictures are going to burn out. Ooh, now the question is, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, what would you rather take, an E46 M3 or an E92? That is the question of the video, E46 or E92? 
That'll be an interesting debate in the comments. So I know you guys also want me to showcase more, you know, classics and more retro cars. So here's this right here. It's a gorgeous classic Mercedes that looks like it just came off the showroom floor. My goodness, this thing is clean. <laughs> That's insane. Little pinstripe right there. 560 SL. Wow. This thing is in very, very clean condition. This thing is, oh, like I said, it just looks like it just rolled off the assembly line and into the dealership. Wow, wow, wow. That is a gorgeous car. I know you guys absolutely love stuff like this. A lot of people love like the classic Porsches. Hence the reason why things like this are just, they just keep going up in value. But I mean, I can see why. I mean, it seems pretty simple, really analog. Like you know what the car is going to do if you like push it or do something with it. I mean, it's not a bad looking car, I like it. And it's crazy because we, we're, we came from this, and now we're going to stuff, stuff like that. Even though that's a BMW, I mean, we're going to stuff like that where it's bigger, heavier, way too expensive for its own good. But I mean, that's, that's just me. But I mean, what would you guys want? Do you guys want to stay in the past like this and not advance so that you guys can still have cars like this? Or would you guys advance, but then you may have stuff like that? Then now, you guys, even though this is not a German car whatsoever, you have a card that I am seriously, seriously, seriously considering replacing my M2, not my M2, I'm sorry, my ZHP with, because these things right here, the BRZs, the 86, the FRSs, blah, 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 they all, all three of those pretty much cars that are pretty much the exact same thing, all make incredible daily drivers. So imagine this, imagine like, you know, you have your M2, then you have this, as a daily driver. No matter which car you get in, you're gonna have a good time. And that is something I like in a daily driver. If I'm gonna daily drive a car, I want it to be something fun. And this right here is really fun. I also like the wheels on this. You know, basic, but still really nice. And I like the fact that they updated this to be, you know, a little bit, you know, more aggressive and a little bit more with the times nowadays. Turbo, twin turbo V8, beautiful, beautiful sound of just Mercedes grunt that you typically don't get anymore in the Mercedes. For some reason, the twin turbo V8 for Mercedes don't sound like this grunty, don't sound this powerful, which is a darn shame. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that ends this video right here so thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoy remember to like comment subscribe if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you guys share the video out with everybody and i look forward to seeing you guys next video make sure you guys stay up to date with all the instagram and the youtube community tab for every information including my personal life anyways take care everybody have a great day peace out